Cover crops are like your winter crew. When the garden looks quiet, they're still working, protecting your soil, feeding it, and setting you up for a strong spring. Leaving a bed bare in Massachusetts is like leaving your door wide open in a snowstorm. Something will fill the space and it usually isn't good. This year I'm planting winter rye in clumps about six inches apart. Rye is a powerhouse. It builds organic matter, it locks the soil in place, and it's one of the first crops to wake up when spring returns, right, as, right alongside your garlic. You can also broadcast it thickly across whole beds if you prefer a blanket coverage. Either way, rye is the anchor cover crop for cold New England winters. For nitrogen, nothing beats vetch. It grabs nitrogen from the air and stores it in the soil, making it perfect for beds that will hold heavy feeders like corn or broccoli next year. Just remember, vetch grows vigorous. Vetch is vigorous. You'll need to manage it in the spring with crimping, mowing, or tarping. Here's another option, broad beans, also called fava beans. These are great because they fix nitrogen while they grow. And when a hard frost hits, they naturally die back. The frost kill saves you the work of termination. And their roots still leave behind nitrogen for spring crops. Here's the bottom line. Never leave your soil bare. It takes years to build your soil and weeks to lose it all. Even a light stand or cover crop is better than an empty bed. And if you want maximum payoff, mix rye with vetch. Rye brings the biomass and vetch brings the nitrogen. And together, they leave your soil better than you found it. 